What's up everybody, my name is Jeremy Jones and I'm back with another video. Today, we're talking to Air Jordan 1, Zoom Comfort 2, you're welcome. So stay tuned. Hoping one day I'ma get it all right. Brother is engaged, but I start a new life. Yeah, I haven't had a chill day. Really wanna vibe, appreciate the moments. I've been creating, not scrolling. Mom and dad still support it. Alright, man, I'm back with another video now. Before I get too deep into this video, y'all already know what to do. Go and hit that like button. It really helps the channel out. And if you know, consider subscribing. I made content about sneakers. Alright, so let's dive in today's video. Just like I said in the intro, man, we're talking the Air Jordan 1, Zoom Comfort 2, you're welcome. All right, man, we're gonna be keeping things very simple over here today. We're gonna be answering the basic old question. Are they drip or skip? Let's just keep it there. All right, so first things first, these are set to release August 28th, to the best of my knowledge, coming in at a retail price of $150, right? Okay, and of course, you know the kid glanced at the resale price, and right now, I currently do not see these loaded up at the time that I'm shooting this video, but I'm sure we'll see them loaded up on somebody's resale market somewhere soon. Now, I can honestly say, well, you're probably like, why are you talking about this video? Uh, honestly, is because honestly, when I was looking at these, I was this close to not making a video, but then I was like, it made me think of the last time, and I'm not saying this is the last Zoom comfort we got, but the last one off the top of my head that I could think of is what I'm talking about is the Tiana Taylor's like the Rose and Harlem joint. Remember those? I think that dropped like what? Over like what? Sometime last year, but don't quote me on that. If you don't remember, and if you're struggling to remember, I can see why I actually took the time to look up on the resale market to see what hers was going at and yeah looks like they're going way below retail hers was 150 as well remember they had this big rollout and all the artists were low-key just kind of like supporting it and well yeah a sneaker had let us know like hey sneakers we like we got our thing right okay and sneakerheads we got our thing and i'm gonna just leave it at that but here we are man i want to talk about these because you know it seems like nike is slowly trying to push this now this is a women exclusive sneaker meaning that most likely these only go up to a man size 10 and a half now i haven't been able to confirm for sure because these aren't loaded up on the sneakers app these are loaded up on the nike app not the sneakers app the nike app yes there's a difference and yes you log in with the same information and it's most likely going to be tied together but sometimes the nike app has things or shoes that the sneakers app don't have why nike does it that way i don't know i don't work there i'm just putting the information but anyway here we are, man. Now, one thing that threw me off about this one is like the name, but apparently it's supposed to be like a play on words or something. Now, I did actually have my handy dandy phone right here because I knew that I was gonna butcher this whole thing. Cause if you look at this, and of course I'm gonna have images coming up on the screen, that Nike check is really throwing me off. So I thought this was like a red and green colorway. So I had to look at the colorways first off. And so, and I'm gonna look down here for just a quick second. It says what the color is, is pretty much pale ivory. Yeah, I'm assuming that's another like nice way to say a different shade of pretty much um, that cell colorway we used to get, but that's just me. And then there's a Army, Na Army Navy, right? That looks green to me on the images, but I'm guessing that's gotta be the Navy part, Armory, so I guess it's gonna be a different shade of Navy. The University Gold, which I don't see that, but there's probably different images going on, which is probably on the bottom of the shoe from what I look like. And then there's a Dragon Red, but in my eyes, we're just gonna call them like pretty much and then there's a bi-coastal colorway on there so nike's been doing a play on words in that so pretty much just wanted to talk about this one this is a shoe that probably for the ladies and also one thing i have noticed over the years when i talked about the comfort level or pretty much when i talk about the zoom comfort air jordan ones like the comfort twos um ironically and it's in the name they're supposed to be super duper comfortable now if you're like me who have a lot of jordans and i wore my joints i want to say either like last week and i can honestly say i just reminded myself how much of like that joint feels like i'm walking around barefooted and i'm flat footed so the comfort level is not there in the regular jordan one at least not the older models right okay but this comfort like two joint is supposed to be super duper comfortable from what i hear right okay so pretty much this one is for the ladies but even still for me personally man you know what it is for me man uh nice shoe but yeah i had to even actually i had to find this shoe right okay so easy for the kid these will be a skip not a bad shoe but maybe for like the kiddos or the girls going back to school or something like that to 
play in or mess up, who knows. But right now for the kid, these will be a skip. But I wanna know what you guys think down in the comment section and will you be going after these on August 28th, retailing at $150. And of course, let me know if you think they're drip or skip. All right, man, I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of this thing and stop rambling, man. Y'all be sure to hit that like button. It really helps the channel out. And if you're new, consider subscribing. I made content about sneakers. Again, my name is Jeremy Jones, and thank you for watching, and I'm out.